One of my favorite pastimes is to shoot carp with my bow and arrow. And as it turns out, uh, the problem with that is I don't have a really good recipe for carp until recently. I have come across a way to turn carp into something truly delicious. And I want to share how I do that from catching the carp to turning it in to a miraculously delectable meal. Well, today, I'm going to use my recurve. I usually I haven't used it yet this year, and this arrow, I made it. There, there's fiberglass driveway poles that people use to mark their driveways. Ooh, lots of carp activity out there. I can see it already. And uh, so I'm going to try to shoot a couple of carp, but I bought the tips myself, and my son tried the arrow, and he got some carp, and so I'm just going to try to get maybe... It ultimately, it'd be great if I could get two carp. Uh, that's what I like to use for bait for my crawfish traps. And I see a lot of carp activity, so I'm just hopeful that I can come up good. Uh, yeah, there's definitely lots of carp down there. So I'm just going to take it easy, slow, and if I can, hopefully, I haven't shot my recurve this year yet, and so you just never know sometimes. With I've been pretty hot with my, uh, my compound bow. If I just come here and wait it out just a little tiny bit, I should be able to get a good shot. Look at how close they are. I just want to see how if I can get them even closer. Just going to sit still now. Okay, they're circulating back this way. They look kind of small. Yep, got one. I think. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna sit this down. Uh, if, nope. Doggone it. I thought for sure I got one. All right. Well, that was a. I didn't really see a carp to shoot at. I just kind of shot at the flock. I'm going to try to shoot right in the middle of that fly. I can't see a specific carp again, but let's see if I can do this. Nope. Nothing. Dang, at it. Well, I'm going to go up ahead. I, I could try to get those, but they're moving along the shore real nice. Sometimes I can cut them off. how I can do. And I know there's a lot more of them. I'm not going to be in a hurry. I'll get to a spot where I feel like I have a good... I'm going to try to get down to that rock. And that might mean spooking some fish, but none of them are real huge, it doesn't seem. I'd like to get at least a bigger one. And we'll see how that goes. Look at those things. What I'm going to do. I'm not even going to look at them. 
I'm just gonna go get on the rock and see what. Just wait for a real close one. Those are really close. Right over his back. Dang nabbit. Not used to this. I could do better, I know it. Okay. Big guy. Nope. I shot right over his back. Too deep. I'm not gonna shoot if he's oh there he's coming up. Oh, right over his back. I'm shooting high it seems. No, if I don't get Nope. There's one. Oh, over his top. That was deep, but it should have shot lower. There's one right in front of me. Oh, right over the top again. That one is like two feet in front of me. Oh, there's one. <laughs> there we go. Ah, so close. Oh, has brushed its tail. Confidence. <laughs> Again. Oh, there's one. He's a little bit. Got him. Finally. Oh, nope. Came off. Thought I had him. Well, that's proof I had him. Scale. There's one. Missed it. Wow, I'm hitting them and they're not going in. Look at that guy. I knocked him for a loop. See him? Finally, I just knocked one out <laughs> and then put a, another arrow in them. I'm using a recurve I haven't used in a long time with a homemade arrow and I finally got it to work. I'm used to using my, my compound bow. Yeah, this is a big boy. Yeah, he's a big one. I headshot him and knocked him out, and then it's the second one I hit that didn't that the arrow didn't go through. Huh. Went through that time though, right through the head. So it's about 14 pounds. Yep, 14.07. See? Oh, I hate these things. Yeah, they're just all thick out there. They're... You just have to just take it easy and...
I hate those things. Oh, they're getting inside my glasses. I couldn't see their bodies, I just was shooting blind at their heads. Ooh, that was close. I hit something. I hit one. I got it. The little one. Oh, I shot it right in the mouth. It's barely holding on. I shot it right in the mouth. That's incredible. I shot it right in the mouth. They must be catching stuff because those guys are clean. There's a lot of panfish that people are catching. I know that. Okay. Pulling the trap out? Uh, not that I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay, chunk of dirty carp that's been hacked apart with a hatchet. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. We'll use this chunk of carp. Yeah. It's pretty gross. And then. When you do this, snip it, and close it, then you got to put the pin through both of them, and then I loop them around, I do this, then just loop them around here. And then I, I, I throw it just on the opposite side. And I was catching a bunch out of both. And I just try to make it somewhat inconspicuous. Yeah, that's nice. Am I right where you want to set that? Oh, no, no. I, I'm, I'll work around. I'm not going to get... I'm just going to set it on this corner right here. Is that for a crawfish? Yeah. We just went and shot a carp, okay. and uh, now we're going to turn it in to crawfish. What do you do with crawfish? Eat them. Do you? Oh my gosh, they're delicious. 
They are amazing. If you like seafood, it's it's definitely worth it. At least somebody found a useful part, right? That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> I like I could take a pound of carp and turn it into a pound of crawfish. That's a good trade. It's almost like a it's like Christmas. I'll pull up this one, then you pull up that one. Not quite been an hour. Almost. Almost an hour? Okay, let's see what happens. Mm. Oh. Nothing yet. Okay. It it usually takes till dark. Yeah. But I still think it's worth trying. Okay, get us one. Just one, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> yep. Two. Three. three. Oh, we just fell in. There's two oh. or three. Yeah, there's three. One just fell in, though. Oh, did it? Yeah, it fell out there. Oh, still right. there. All right. Or is it two or three? It's two. Oh. The third one fell in. I see. That's awesome. a nice one. All right. See, that's a, it's a start. It's a start. Can I reach back very good? So just like a lobster grab it right here. Yeah, that's how you do it. Let yourself get bit. On camera. Yeah. Yes. I want to see you cry on camera. <laughs> okay, here we go. Feels empty. Nope, nope, he's right on the outside of it. Oh, you knocked him out. There's one in. There's one on the outside of the cage. Oh, just, yeah, wait, you, I pulled you, it too soon, when probably. You, when you hit the dock, you yeah. fell off. Mmm. Huh. Little uh it's chomping on the get getting some jackrabbit and chicken and carp all mixed together. But one fell out, huh? Yeah. He was on the he was on the outside. Just... Yeah, I didn't see that. He was trying to figure out how to get in. Yep. Probably just saved his life. I caught a couple on my on my fishing pole too. There's some in there. I can see it. Oh, there's one on the outside. Oh, there's two on the outside. Quick, yeah. pull it up. Oh, there's two. They're, they're on the outside of it. Yeah, that's all right. They saw them both. I'm going to try to scoop them in there. Oh, oh I put them back there. Oh yeah, this feels heavy. Yep, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. We have the... Okay. Okay. A little smaller. Hold on. Okay. And... Look it. That's a good size one. I guess they like jackrabbit. Yep. Look at it. <laughs> They're eating all of it. Okay. Whoops. Eh, sorry. Okay. Do we get it all? Oh, look at that guy. Hold on. Oh, this is really heavy. This one feels really heavy. Holy oh, moly. Holy moly. <laughs> this is, this, it, you could really feel, look at all. Oh, look at that one. That a is one. a monster. Oh, I think we picked a great day. <laughs> Holy crap. We're going to top my record easy. Okay, look at these things. This one's got big body little 
Mm-hmm. Pause. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess the jackrabbit does okay, huh? Yeah. Kind of just... It took me... A, oh, it feels heavy. It feels pretty heavy. There's, hey, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. we got one that they were trying to pull out. You got them? Mm-hmm. Quite a few. Yep. So pillow trap works. That's good. These, th these are just a few bucks to make. I have to, that use, that I'll use to get these things, uh, so that, because this part is really sharp. Yeah. It did pretty good. Yeah, it did all right. What the hell? Where'd that turn what, off? What happened? I don't know. I'm trying to, where'd that turn off? I was about to get bit, so I threw that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> For this. Yeah. Oh, this is heavy. How long? How long have they been sitting here? This sat here all night so yeah, far. Like two and a half oh, hours. no way. That is a haul. This is one of my homemade. What ones. do you put in there? Carp. 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 You ever shot a carp? Oh, no. Yeah, over there. Two of the dams. Look at all of them. Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> Isn't it? This is so cool. This is, I'm hooked on this. Dude, that's, <laughs> I've eaten no, crawfish every weekend <laughs> for a while. Oh, dude, oh my god, I would eat. Dude, yeah, if I get a awesome. steak in that every day. Yeah. <laughs> that first pot, look at that one. Dude. Crazy, huh? Look at that, Rob. So, what's, what's the catch? What, uh, how, how do they get in? There's a yeah, little hole. hole. Yep. They come in through this they hole. Crawl in no sh Can't get out. Yeah. And then that this was insane. a carp head. They say a carp head's the best. It's gross. Right. <laughs> yep. Okay, it's a little Dude, gross. Dude, that's thing. a lot of crawdads, man. Yeah. Holy crap. Did its job. They're huge. Some of them are huge. Dude, look. Yeah, look at that big crap. Right fucking right there. there. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Oh, dude, oh, there's that's... a bigger one. I, I see it. No, but that is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's some monsters in here. There's this one that oh I want. God, that right here, that's the one. Uh -huh. This is the one. Dude, that. that makes me want to get a big Cajun pot. Yep, you're going to get a... We'll block it. Wow. I can't believe we essentially fill the five-gallon pail full of these things. That's what 18 pounds of crawfish look like in my sink. So what I have here first is I added some Cajun seasoning. I got this Louisiana fish fry. Cut up some Italian sausages. I like that in my crawfish bowl. So then uh, I like these little potatoes. They come already cleaned and stuff. And they're nice, delicious actually. They're really good in this, so I'm going to add that. So I got four fresh corn on the cobs. These were 25 cents a cob. So a buck's worth.
So here's the bounty from last night. You can see there's some pretty good sized ones. Um, and the nice part is I kept them on ice all day in the refrigerator and they're still moving. But they're super cold. And so I will be putting those, adding those to my crawfish boil. It's not the 75 I caught the other day, but it's still pretty good. So, now it's time to get the crawfish in. This moment could only be better if my friend Jeff were here. So, put those in. There it is, Jeff, in his great, wondrous glory. Too bad you can't be here. I'll chew extra times for you. So there you have it. Crawfish from Carl.